and many people living along the Panhandle had nowhere to put their boats as Hurricane Michael approached. Our team coverage continues with Action News Jack's Russell Colburn, who shows us how strong winds and storm surge through boats around in Franklin County. Today we made it back to East Point, which is just west of Carabel, and I want to show you exactly what we're seeing here. Check this out. Michael picked up these boats and just washed them ashore. And this isn't really close to the water either. That's a good 60 yards. They're really parked on the side of the road as if they're a vehicle. Here's another little boat just beyond those branches there. And then there's another one just straight ahead entangled in the trees with significant damage. And if you look further on, you see what appears to be a warehouse looking building that's destroyed. And to the left of it was actually a structure that accompanied that. And it's just been reduced to its foundation. So severe damage here in East Point in Franklin County, which did have a mandatory evacuation order. I want to take you just east where we saw some damage in Carabelle. Check this out. This portion of Coastal Highway 98 is gone. The storm took the foundation from it, ripped it out, and the road just caved in. Between all the areas we've driven in the first alert storm tracker, I would say there's a solid mile of Coastal 98 that has just been washed away and is now crumpled. We do have Florida Highway Patrol stationed all around the area, keeping people safe, making sure people don't drive in certain areas. So it's going to be a long road to recovery in this area as people begin to come back to their homes to try to start to rebuild. In East Point, Russell Colburn, CBS 47 Action News Jax.